Hello YouTube family and friends. Today we're going to talk about the different ships of the Disney Cruise Line. Specifically, we're going to talk about the differences in the sizes. Disney Cruise Line has four ships in two different size categories. The classic or the smaller ships are the Wonder and the Magic and the two larger ships called the Dream Class are the Dream and the Fantasy. Today we're going to talk about some of the differences between those size categories and share some of our thoughts on them. For full disclosure, we do prefer the smaller class ship. And that's because we have found that they're smaller, so they have fewer passengers, mm -hmm. and that just makes for a less hectic, more relaxed atmosphere as there's just fewer people moving around the ship. And that's just our preference. Yeah. With that said, though, we definitely would not use size right. as the main factor mm -hmm. in determining what cruise to go on because we've been on a smaller ship right. and a larger ship, and every Disney cruise we've been on, regardless of the size of the ship, has been Amazing. great. Amazing. Yes. yes. The classic smaller ships also happen to be the older ships. Mm -hmm. The Magic and the Wonder are... 21 years old and 19 years old and by comparison the dream and the fantasy are only eight years old and seven years old but our experience has been age of the ship doesn't really make any difference that we could see not to us we didn't notice and the refurbishments that they have done on the older ships are amazing I think the only thing that Mike noticed, but I didn't, was the technology. Yeah. On the larger ships, they have on-demand movies, whereas on the Magic and the Wonder, mm -hmm. they show Disney movies all day long, but they have a set schedule when they all start. The other difference is in each of the rooms on the larger ships, they have a little receptacle that you're supposed to put your room card in that enables the light switches to turn on and off. And then the last technological difference is on the larger ships, they have an interactive game that's in all the public hallways called the Midship Detective Agency. And you sign up and you get a little card. And when you put your card in front of these photos, you get an interactive screen and it gives you clues. You're trying to solve some mystery on the ship and these screens are interactive. In terms of physical size, the fantasy and the dream mm -hmm. are significantly longer, taller, and wider than the magic and the wonder. But with that said, even the larger Disney ships are dwarfed by some of the other ships that sail out of Port Canaveral and Miami. Some of them are up to 70% larger. So that's a lot. Yeah, personally, we can't see why you would need a ship that large, but. But that's us, that's just yeah. our. Yeah. To us, the size difference between the Disney ships was most noticeable in two ways. First, you do a lot more walking on the dream and the fantasy to get where you're going whether it's forward and aft or up and down. Nothing extraordinary or burdensome, it was just something we noticed. Secondly, is how the hallways feel a bit more crowded during high traffic times, such as start of dinner, showtime in the main theater, and activities in the atrium. It wasn't claustrophobic, just a little bit close sometimes. However, the dining rooms, theater, and various other gathering places didn't feel any more crowded on the smaller ships. Each of these rooms is appropriately sized for the number of passengers the ship can carry. Speaking of the number of passengers, mm -hmm. um, the capacity of the smaller ships is um, about 1,240 passengers with 875 staterooms, and the larger ships the capacity is about 4,000 passengers with 1,275 staterooms. We think the difference in the number of passengers is most noticeable when you get off the ship. Or, uh, or on, on or yeah, off. Yeah, on or off. When you get off on a port, there's still only two exits mm -hmm. on each of the ships. 
into the ports and so it just tends to back up so you either wait a little bit later in the day or right. if you're trying to get to an excursion you may have to stand in several lines we haven't had the opportunity to go to castaway key on a smaller ship so we think that might make a noticeable difference mm -hmm. but even when we were there on the fantasy mm -hmm. um, castaway key was not crowded even with 4,000 passengers getting off the ship right because the dream class ships are physically larger mm -hmm. they have room for more on board facilities not necessarily different but there's more of them the dream and the fantasy have a total of five pools that's two more than on the magic and the wonder two of these pools are located near the funnel vision video screen and there are two adult only pools the magic and the wonder have three pools each one by the funnel vision the quiet cove adult only pool and a pool in the water play area the larger ships also have more and wider seating areas on the outdoor decks, including some lounge chairs with fantastic views right along the edge. The Dream and the Fantasy also have a large water slide not found on the Magic and the Wonder. The Aqueduct. The adult-only areas are also different on the two classes of ship. On the Dream and the Fantasy, the Quiet Cove pool includes a swim-up bar. And the Dream and the Fantasy have an additional adult-only area, Satellite Falls, located on the uppermost deck at the front of the ship. Not surprisingly, the larger ships have more elevators, though all the ships have three main banks of elevators. The nice thing about the elevators on the Dream and the Fantasy is that they have a separate entrance alcove on each floor. On the Magic and the Wonder, the elevators open directly onto the main hallways on each floor. There are two additional food service locations on the larger ships. These include a second adults-only signature dining room, Remy. The Magic and the Wonder have only Palo as an adult-only restaurant. The larger ships also have an ice cream candy parlor on board. Sweet on You aboard the Fantasy, and Vanellope's Sweets and Treats on the Dream. There is an additional charge for items purchased in these shops. Lastly is the difference in the sports deck on the ships. All four of the ships have enclosed basketball courts. The Dream and the Fantasy also have a mini golf course and electronic sports simulators. The simulators require reservations and an additional fee. So that's our comparison between the larger Disney cruise ships mm -hmm. and the smaller Disney cruise ships. Um, if you have any comments, we'd love to hear them. And also, if you like this video, you can always set the notification. Yep, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs Subscribe up. Subscribe if you like. We would appreciate that. Yes, that would be great. But as always, we give thanks to God for all the blessings that he gives us, not just for our good, but ultimately for his glory.